Hello everyone. Uh, today's topic is information system support for decision making. So in this topic we will discuss uh, how uh, the information system can help in you know, the process of decision making. How it is uh, helpful to the decision makers. We will uh, uh, explore regarding this perspective. And uh, information system is a computer based system. It is uh, uh, built with the analytical uh, data analytics capabilities and uh, it uses uh, huge amounts of data to analyze and uh, uh, gain insights from the data. So computer based system uh, is uh, a design as information system which will uh, uh, use tools and other uh, technologies to uh, gather data and analyze the data to generate necessary information to the business decision making and it solves the decision making problems and critical uh, scenarios and uh, there are various aspects uh, related to this information system uh, to support uh, the decision making process we will discuss all those aspects now key aspects now so first one is uh, data management it, uh, uh, it involves the data collection process ensuring the data quality and uh, integrating data so data, data can be collected from various sources uh, uh, some of the internal sources may be file systems or uh, internal databases and external uh, sources may be uh, internet or some online repositories uh, branch databases and so on and uh, ensuring data quality is to uh, make the uh, uh, information uh, dissemination and information um, gathering and uh, dissemination uh, as an accurate process because uh, uh, the information system should give uh, accurate information and complete information uh, to uh, increase the confidence of uh, various stakeholders and uh, it should be reliable and so the data should be reliable so validation has to be done uh, data cleaning should be done uh, as a uh, period of course and uh, the next is data integration as part of this data management of uh, engineers also do integrating the data from uh, uh, different sources uh, it provides uh, huge amount of data and uh, in the next uh, uh, slide we will discuss uh, more about uh, uh, remaining key, uh, key aspects the decision support system also includes architecture and modeling tools query and reporting service so the architecture is designed to uh, support the decision making process it uh, incorporates database important functional components models and user interfaces the modeling tools uh, may be um, google docs or uh, microsoft, microsoft sharepoint or uh, maybe a computer based uh, program to support the determination and uh, uh, dissemination of knowledge or information and uh, uh, this may be static export systems or uh, uh, it may give a holistic view of uh, all the components uh, so here uh, they may also use uh, engineers may also use uh, groupware or bulletin boards audio and video conferencing tools for uh, uh, disseminating information and uh, query and reporting services uh, mainly allow the users to user to interact with the system user can pass a query to the database and they can get the report what they want uh, for uh, uh, gaining insights about the problem business problem the next key aspect of uh, the information system for decision making is uh, business intelligence so business intelligence involves a data analysis process uh, mainly predictive analytics uh, to generate uh, necessary information for uh, predicting the future events it involves uh, uh, deep learning or machine learning based uh, uh, model for generating the output and the data analysis allows users to understand various scenarios and export uh, trends present in the data and pattern present in the data finally the reporting and the dashboards uh, uh, gives a visual form of output uh, for understanding the uh, information the next component is uh, knowledge management and the executive information system. And the knowledge management uh, involves a knowledge repository uh, to store and organize uh, organizational knowledge, some best practices, 
and extract the data and uh, this uh, knowledge management component also uh, facilitates the communication and collaboration among uh, decision makers it allows them to share insights and expertise information system ex executive information system uh, gives uh, strategic information to support the decision maker uh, it helps them in, in effective planning and decision making and uh, the, this system also uses uh, uh, key factors, so key uh, performance indicators so to monitor and display some critical aspects about uh, uh, the business uh, requirements, uh, which is aligned with the organization report. The next component is data warehousing. Data warehouse provides a central to data storage to store the data, and it supports complex queries and uh, analysis uh, reporting process. Uh, it maintains historical data, um, uh, maybe the data for uh, the past uh, five years or ten years uh, may be maintained on the data warehouse to support the data analysis and decision making. And uh, the next component is GIS, Geography Information System. It involves spatial analysis, spatial data analysis and mapping and visualization. It uses spatial data for uh, location based uh, data analysis and uh, uh, we use maps and the visualization tools to uh, enhance the understanding of the operative data. And security and privacy are so important part of uh, the decision support system. Um, yeah, it provides access control uh, to the data because uh, the system information system involves uh, sensitive uh, information and uh, it has to be protected from the external modification. Uh, and uh, data encryption techniques uh, may be applied EIDS or uh, RSA algorithms, some kind of uh, encryption algorithm also used to uh, securely transmit the data and uh, protect the data. And finally, user training and support is uh, uh, essential for uh, um, providing a flexible uh, environment for uh, various stakeholders. So, you necessary training to be given to users and uh, they should be able to use the system effectively for decision making and uh, there must be a help desk to address their queries and issues and uh, whenever necessary it is uh, uh, required to integrate with external systems uh, using API um, because it will enhance interoperability with the other databases applications uh, it will help the information analyst to ensure data availability